Long term financial goals. Long term financial goals are as important as short term financial goals. The purpose of the long term financial plan is to make sure the goals can be achieved as planned in the initial stage. Long term financial plans usually exceed five years, such as children's education, retirement, and buying a house. To develop a long term financial plan, the key aspects to be considered are as follows. Inflation rate. Inflation is a situation of a continuing increase in the general price level. Interest rate. Personal health. In developing a long term financial plan, it would be better to start saving early because this practice can help us in achieving our financial goals faster. For example, we should prepare for retirement. Buy a property and save for children's education. Long term financial plans develop vary for each individual. Vary means the difference in size, amount, degree, or nature from something else of the same general class. The income of an individual or joint income of husband and wife allows an individual to have sufficient monthly savings in a shorter period of time. Example 6. Injet Shet and his wife intend to buy a house in six years after getting married. Their total income is 8,000 ringgit and their total fixed and viable expenses is 6,500 ringgit. They plan to buy a double story house priced as 720,000 ringgit with a down payment of 72,000 ringgit. How much is the monthly savings that Injet Shet and his wife must save in order to achieve their financial goal? Normally, the down payment is 10% of the price of the house. The annual savings needed to buy interest shed is 72,000 ringgit divided by 6 years. Annual savings means the saving of a year. The annual saving is 12,000 ringgit. The monthly savings needed to buy interest shed is 12,000 ringgit divided by 12 months equals 1,000 ringgit. For interest family, saving 1,000 ringgit every month to achieve their long-term goal is not difficult with a total income of 8,000 ringgit. Their total income is 8,000 ringgit and the total expenses is 6,500 ringgit. The remain is 1,500 ringgit, so it's not hard to save 1,000 ringgit every month. Is it wise for Injet to buy a house priced as 720,000 ringgit with his current financial planning? Satisfy your answer. No, although Injet is able to pay the down payment of 72,000 ringgit, his monthly housing loan installments can burden him due to high expenses. The house of the price minus the down payment meant he loans 648,000 ringgit. Let's say the interest rate is 4%, the maximum number of years for the loan is 45 years, then the monthly housing loan installment is 2869 ringgit 18 cent. After paying the down payment from the savings, you only have 1500 ringgit. It's not possible for them to pay the housing loan in case the total income is not increased in 6 years. Case study Assume you are a financial consultant. Mr. Wong, as the head of his family, has come to see you with the information of his monthly income and expenses as shown below. He seeks your consultancy to create a financial plan to buy a house. Mr. Wong works as a marketing officer in a company while his wife is a housewife. They have two children who are 1 and 2 years old. Mr. Wong would like to save an amount of 150,000 ringgit for his children's education in 15 years from now. Help Mr. Wong to create a financial plan to achieve his financial goals. This is the financial plan of Mr. Wong. The annual saving is 150,000 divided by 15 years equals 10,000 ringgit. The monthly saving is 10,000 ringgit divided by 12 months equals 833 ringgit 33 cent. The fixed monthly saving is 650 ringgit. So the additional savings needed is 833 ringgit 33 cent minus 650 ringgit. 
It costs 182 ringgit 33 cent. So we suggest Mr. Wong need to increase his monthly savings by 182 ringgit 33 cent. What can he do to increase the monthly savings? He can reduce the amount allocated for traveling by 25% in order to achieve his financial goal of saving money for his children's education. The expenses for travel is 500 ringgit. The reduced travel expenses is 25% multiplied 500 ringgit equals 125 ringgit. The new travel expenses is 500 ringgit minus 125 ringgit equals 375 ringgit. He can also cut down expenses on petrol by 100 ringgit by carpooling with his colleagues in case he get free rides from his colleagues. By practicing the above two suggestions, Additional saving is 125 ringgit plus 100 ringgit equals 225 ringgit. Mr. Wong can also consider reducing the viable expenses to achieve his financial goals. Mr. Wong can do some part time jobs to generate additional income. Besides that, he can invest the amount of money saved each year to earn passive income, such as dividends bonus shares and interest as an addition to the total income. However, improper investment will cause him to lose money. If you are interested in investment, it's good to spend some time to read investment books or attend seminars and workshops conducted by true investors. But if you are not interested to learn about investing, then it is best for you to put your money in fixed deposit accounts. This is Mr. Wong's new financial plan. The total savings for one month is the monthly saving plus the additional savings equals 650 ringgit plus 225 ringgit equals 875 ringgit. The total savings for 15 year is 875 ringgit times 12 times 15 years was 147,500 ringgit. In fact, the amount of money saved is more than 157,500 ringgit as the saving the banks offer interest annually. The feasibility of Mr. Wong's financial plan depends on the following factors. Number 1. The inflation rate should not exceed pay rise. The rental received is fixed. Mr. Wong is healthy and can continue to work. The increase of expenses can be offset by pay rise, rentals and part-time jobs. Nothing unexpected happens to Mr. Wong's family that involves high costs. Let's see the summary of this chapter. Firstly, we need to make sure the financial goal is smart. Next, calculate the monthly saving needed to achieve the goal. The formula of cash flow is total income minus total expenses. Total income is active income plus passive income minus fixed monthly savings minus savings for emergency fund. The total expenses is fixed expenses plus viable expenses. If cash flow is negative, try to cut some viable expenses. This is the format of financial plan. All the active incomes is written here. The amount of the active incomes are written here. The total active income is written here on the right side. Total passive income, total monthly income, total income after deducting savings, all are written on the right side. All the passive incomes are written here. The amount are written here. The fixed monthly saving is written here. All the fixed expenses are written here, the amounts are written here, total fixed expenses and total viable expenses and surplus or deficits are written on the right side. All the viable expenses are written here, the amount are written here. 